Lauren Robinson, Ms. Hernandez, 4th period, AP Language. Book Review on All the Bright Places by Jennifer Nivian. Quote, the thing that I realize is that it's not what you take, it's what you leave. Nivian, 376. Theodore Finch and Violet Markey are two high school teenagers that coincide with each other. While Finch is fascinated by death, Markey lives for the future. Nivian's All the Bright Places captivated my full attention with its gripping human drama and love story. Flinch and Violet meet on the ledge of the bell tower at school, which is six stories above the ground. It's uncertain to say who saves whom. The two teenagers are paired up on a project to discover the natural wonders of their state. There is an undeniable spark between the two from the start. While Finch and Violet work on this project, not only do they discover the natural wonder of their state, but make more important discoveries. It's only with Violet that Finch can be himself, a weird, funny, live-out-loud guy who's not such a freak after all. And it's only with Finch that Violet can forget to count away the days and start living them. But as Violet's world grows, Finch begins to shrink. The more they get to know each other, the more they realize how invaluable they are to one another. The writing style of All the Bright Places is fantastic. The characters are shown in so much detail through straightforward descriptions as well as how they speak and act. In this novel, the characters are truly what bring the story alive, fill it with energy, and make it realistic. Finch is prone to trouble, and of course, he is the class clown in his classes. He is a charismatic and charming teenager who is simply fascinated by death. He constantly thinks of ways he might kill himself. However, each time something good, no matter how small, stops him. Quote, you make me lovely, and it's so lovely to be lovely to the one I love. Nivian 375. Finch adores loving Marky, for she is one of the reasons that he is still alive. Marky is traumatized by her older sister's death in an automobile accident. Since then, she has stopped writing and given up cheerleading, two of her biggest passions, because they remind her too much of her sister. She refuses to get in a car again, forcing herself to walk everywhere else she goes. One can immediately feel sorrow and grief for Marky. Quote, you can't avoid cars forever, especially now that we're in winter. You can't keep standing still. You need to remember that you're a survivor and what that means. Nivian 22. The loss of Marky's sister has evidently made a big impact on her life. Like a person in real life, she is frightened by the things that took her sister away from her. In this part of the novel, it was extremely easy for me to make a connection. In 2011, I lost my oldest sister from an organ failure, which was caused by her excessive consumption of alcohol. Although I am, at times, pressured by peers into trying alcohol, I do not consume it due to prior experience. When I lost my sister, I was part of and witnessed so many people grieving for her. She left a major impact and her loss greatly affected people. I now stay away from alcohol and fright that it can take me away like it once took my sister away. All the Bright Places contains multiple themes. For example, it incorporates serious themes such as mental health and suicide. Finch and Marky experience life-changing issues. However, they learn the importance of life and each other. There were so many themes in the story that it really had me stop and think about how I personally would have dealt with some of the situations that Violet and Finch find themselves in and how people can make judgments without really knowing a person or what they are going through. In this novel, it made a connection to How to Read Literature Like a Professor, Chapter 11, titled More Than It's Gonna Hurt, Concerning Violence. Finch goes through a self versus mind conflict. He suffers from a bipolar disorder which can cause violence to anyone surrounding him, even himself. Finch feels as if his health condition is not healthy for Marky or their relationship. Quote, you deserve better. I can't promise you I'll stay around. Not because I don't want to. It's hard to explain. I may fuck up. I'm broken and no one can fix it. 
I've tried. I'm still trying. I can't love anyone because it's not fair to anyone who loves me back. I'll never hurt you. Not like I want to hurt you, Romer. But I can't promise you I won't pick you apart piece by piece until you're in a thousand pieces just like me. You should know what you're getting into before you're getting involved. Nivian 213 However, Marky is willing to stay by his side. Without one another, they feel incomplete. They feel as if a part of them is missing. Before Marky and Finch realized that they were nothing without one another, Finch attempted to commit suicide in front of their school bell, which is six stories high. In chapter 15 titled Fancy Flight of How to Read Literature Like a Professor, it shares ways that characters attempt to escape their issues and problems. Finch attempts to take flight by taking his own life. However, Marky stops him before he could jump. She tells him that taking flight is not the way out, for flight is not freedom in his case. Finch does not realize, but people will miss him when he is gone. Quote, not just your parents and siblings, but your friends, your girlfriends, your classmates, your teachers. Nivian 14. It takes Finch a while before he realizes that taking flight is truly not the answer to escaping his life problems. When the two first began to get to know one another, they shared their story so they could get a better understanding of each other. This connects to chapter 17, Except Sex. Marky explains to Finch that her perspective of life changed ever since the day her sister died. She does not take any moment for granted since tomorrow is not promised. This influences and demonstrates to Finch that he should not wish for death or find a way to death. He then shares his story to Marky. At times, he feels like the sore thumb sticking out, where he is unwanted. This relates to chapter 17, because they talk about everything except sex. They talk about freedom, problems, desire, and individuality. To them, this is pleasure. To have someone listen to them, to have someone appreciate them, to have someone in their presence is like sex. Quote, you can't avoid cars forever. Especially now that we're in winter. You can't keep standing still. You need to remember that you're a survivor and what that means. Marky suffers from a heart disease, like in Chapter 23 of How to Read Literature Like a Professor. Marky suffers from the loss of her sister, which has affected her tremendously. She fears losing someone so close to her once again. She fears riding in cars again due to the fact that her sister passed away in a car accident. She fears that life is not what she thought it once was. Like any person who loses someone, she goes through many stages of grief, which can be hard for a loved one to accept and support her go through. Illness is a disease or period of sickness affecting the body or mind. Not until Finch's late teenage years does he discover his mental illness. His illness relates to chapter 24 of How to Read Literature Like a Professor. He always knew something was wrong. He always felt as if he was different from someone else. Now Finch has to learn how to accept himself. Although he finds someone who loves him and accepts him for who he is, he is frightened that he is not good enough for her with his illness. Finch loves Marky. However, he does not want to hurt her mentally, emotionally, or physically. With a mental disorder such as the one Finch has, he has to be cautious and careful of his actions. After reading this book, I fell in love with the story. All the right places not only shared an attention-seeking story, but taught me so many life lessons. This book is great and ideal for mature teenagers. Although some characters should have had more of an identity in the story, other characters brought this book to life. I was able to make multiple connections with the story, plot, and characters. Jennifer Nivian made it able for her reader to connect to the novel. All in all, while this story was not perfect, I did find it an important and well executed reading experience regardless.